Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best sound bars in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Bose Smart Ultra Sound Bar There's a limit to just how powerful and immersive a single sound bar can be without rear satellites or a subwoofer, and the Bose Smart Ultra Sound Bar pushes against that limit as much as possible. It sounds big and full, with strong bass considering it doesn't come with a subwoofer, though you can purchase one separately. And it's 5.1. Two-channel configuration produces impressively detailed surround imaging. It also has built support for Apple AirPlay, Google Cast, and Amazon Alexa. This sound bar can give you a strong surround experience in a single, slim package that disappears under your TV and doesn't require running wires around your couch. The Sonos Arc delivers similar audio performance, but we give slight preference to the Smart Ultra because of its Google Cast support, slimmer profile, and wired subwoofer output that allows for more flexibility to expand the system. Vizio V-Series V51H6 The Vizio V-Series V51H6 is the best budget sound bar we've tested. This 5.1 setup is an even more affordable alternative to the Vizio M-Series M512H6 with a great price to performance ratio. Like the M-Series, it has a dedicated subwoofer and two satellite speakers to improve its surround sound with formats like Dolby Digital. Right out of the box, you get a clear and accurate sound, so you hear dialogue clearly, and the deep rumble in the low bass is present without overpowering details in the mix. The sound enhancement features are similar to what you get with the M-Series, meaning you can adjust its bass and treble according to your preferences. This soundbar setup is one of the only ones in its price range to come with rear satellites from an improved surround sound. It's meant for listening to stereo and surround sound formats like Dolby Digital and Chimes with this type of content. Samsung HW Qua 990 Coulombs The Samsung HW Qua 990 Coulombs is the best soundbar we've tested. This premium 11.1 4 Setup is the next generation of the Samsung HWQ990B and offers even better sound quality than its predecessor. Like most high-end sound bars, it has a room correction feature designed to improve audio reproduction based on the unique acoustics of your space. With it on, the bar has a clean and clear sound, with a detailed reproduction of voices and other instruments in the mix. It's suitable for everything from music to movies to TV shows and its sub brings all the thump and rumble to take action-packed scenes to the next level. This Dolby Atmos soundbar offers an immersive sound with advanced audio formats commonly found on streaming platforms and Blu-rays. Klipsch Cinema 600 The Klipsch Cinema 600 is a reasonably priced and powerful soundbar that puts out a strong sound profile with rumbling bass and crisp treble. This 3.1-channel system isn't Atmos compatible, but you can expand it to a 5.1 setup with optional satellites. This is for users willing to pay a bit more for sound quality, but for whom surround isn't a priority. The emphasis here is all on power and frequency response. It's a strong value for $500, but because it's a few years old you might find it on sale. Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 Orc For those with larger, more open living spaces, Finding a sound bar that can fill your room with sound is important. The Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 Arc is ideal for this use case thanks to its unique 9.2.4 setup. Unlike most sound bars, it has two subwoofers to even out the bass reproduction and four satellite speakers, which you can position horizontally or vertically for the best sound. Also, you can move these components around the room to fill any gaps in the sound stage, so no space goes without. As the upgraded version of the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9, Tooch, it has some additional features, including ERC support, meaning you can stream more premium formats like DDS WEX, Vizio M Series M512 H6. More budget conscious buyers can check out the Vizio M Series M512 H6. Overall, this soundbar has a lot of similarities with the pricier Vizio Elevate. You'll find similar sound enhancement features, including bass and treble adjustments to customize its sound. 
It also comes with a subwoofer and two satellites designed to bring a more immersive feel to your listening experience. It performs well with most types of audio content and reproduces dialogue and instruments with great clarity. Plus, the sub brings all the thump and rumble you need to shake the floor with bass-heavy sound effects. How does this setup compare with the Elevate? Well, there are two key differences. First, the M-Series doesn't have sides that rotate upwards with height content. Also, its satellites lack up firing drivers. Roku Stream Bar Pro The Roku Stream Bar Pro, formerly the Roku Smart Sound Bar, is a combination sound bar and Roku Media Streamer that plugs into your DVZerk port. It handles all sound output and offers the same streaming capabilities as a Roku Streaming Stick 4K. The device doesn't sound especially impressive by itself, but you can always expand it with the Roku DV Wireless Speakers and Roku Wireless Bass or Bass Pro, formerly Roku Wireless Subwoofer, for a full surround experience. If you're a Roku user and want to add Apple AirPlay to your home theater, or just don't like your TV's current media streaming interface, the Roku Stream Bar Pro is a worthy solution. It's an affordable, solid sound bar and enables surround expansion for not a lot of money.